All right, guys, so I'm here with my boy Brandon and his 2020 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. So this has a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 with 505 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. And then do you know what this color is called? Red. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's red. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen, but this thing it looks really, really cool. And uh, maybe these two cars can line up in Mexico and see what happens. <laughs> maybe a little bit later. I don't think it'd be close. You think that you're going to destroy me, huh? I think so. Uh, I don't know. I know from a standstill you destroy me because you're all-wheel drive. You're all-wheel drive, right? So you'll destroy me from a standstill because my car spins like crazy. I mean, I don't know. 30 to 50, it's two seconds flat, something around that. And so, mm -hmm. we'll okay. See. We'll see if you can come close. Maybe. But these brakes are massive. Carbon ceramics. It looks like it's 255, 45, R20 on the tires. Pirellis. Oh, this thing just looks really cool. I love this color too. As you can tell, I am a fan of red. Wow. Quad exhaust, of course. Rear parking sensors, LED lighting all the way around. But uh, let's go ahead and hop inside and uh, see what the inside looks like. Oh, that's cool. Hold on. Let me show the light in the door. I didn't see that. Yeah, go for it. Check that out. You yeah. even got an LED in the door. Yeah, and you'll see on the steering wheel and like on the sides. That's, that's how you know it's a quadrifoglio. Yeah, I guess like the history on it. I learned this at the when I was buying the car. Mm -hmm. I guess when they had like the racing history, I guess they had like a really good driver but he's like super unlucky he's good but he's unlucky they said mm -hmm. and so he'd paint on like a four-leaf clover because of the luck oh I know, apparently it helped him out or something and so that's why they always stuck with it okay yeah cool little history lesson there yeah so you can see it has it on the steering wheel all that as well look at this interior wow i don't know nothing about this i have a mustang so my interior isn't all that good <laughs> yeah what we got we got leather up here we got carbon fiber soft touch right here uh is automatic up down for all four windows yeah. yes it is Wow. Harman Kardon stereo, two person memory seats. Just check this out. Look at these seats. Wow. Alfa Romeo, red accent stitching. It's got power seats down there. So I'm, I'm going to hop inside. Let's start it out. Here's the key. Little key holder on the right, too. Even as remote start. Yeah, there's a key holder. Oh, right wow. See, look, they thought of everything. Wow, it smells nice in here, too. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow, this is so nice. Look at this. We got suede, leather. Alcantara. Alcantara, excuse me. <laughs> Look at the gauge cluster. How do you go through the uh, through so, the stuff in the gauge cluster? So this is one of the coolest parts. I mean, you can do that all around here. There's mm -hmm. not too much to go through. It's mainly going to be in that menu there. Okay. But this right here is how you change like to your different modes. So Ooh, I heard the exhaust get loud. Yeah, so this is what really opens it up. And so you can see on the screen here, when you switch between modes, mm -hmm. It'll start to change. It'll show you the different animations for like each different mode between all so, those. So what does A stand for? I'm being honest, with you, man. I don't know. I want to butcher it, <laughs> but I don't know off the top of my head. By the way, I didn't do like extensive research before I got here, so I'm not 100% sure on everything with this car. But um, D, let's see if it shows what the different modes mean. Okay, well, in it looks like it made the exhaust get a little bit quieter, so I'm assuming that's a more uh, basic it's mode. It's gonna be like kind of like eco in a sense. Okay, and then A, again, not sure what that stands for, but uh, dynamic, I'm assuming is what D stands for. Yep. And that makes the exhaust loud. Okay, let's give it a little rev. Wow, it's such a unique sound. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this thing is so cool. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Let's see, we got heated seats, we have heated steering wheel, dual zone automatic climb control, carbon fiber all over the place, red accent stitching, red. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the back, see what the back looks like. Oh, okay. That's nice. We got heated seats in the back and two USBs. We even have a door locker back here. That's nice. Let's, let's see if I can fit. Oh yeah, with the seat adjusted in his position, I can actually fit in the back, which is pretty cool. Wow. This is nice. You even got a fold-down armrest right here. Okay, and a panoramic sunroof, which is not open right now, but it is there. And we have LED lighting. Do you have anything in the trunk that you don't want to people to see? Okay. The trunk space is insane. Yeah, there's a bunch of trunk space. You even have speaker right here. LED light, 12 volt, 
This is so you can fold down the seats. Looks like it's a 40-20-40 split seat and a power lift gate. But let's go ahead and go for a drive because I'm sure that's what people want to see with a car like this. Wow, this is so cool. Two 85s in the back. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so if you lift it up, you can hold your phone right there as well. You get multiple USB plugs in the front and in there. Okay. So you know what's funny? My neighbor actually has a Julia Quadrifoglio. Really? And one of my coworkers literally just bought another Julia Quadrifoglio. Hmm. So I'm kind of been surrounded by Alfa Romeos lately. That's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool because it's so unique. Yeah. I love wow, look at those paddles. And then do you know how many speeds the transmission has at an eight speed? Off the top of my head, I don't know. Okay. I'm sure it's probably eight speed. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm not too too far into the specs. I drove this, the Porsche Macan GTS, the Audi RS5 Sportback. Um, how was the RS5 Sportback? I enjoyed it. It's just a different, completely different driving experience. Obviously, you're going from a sedan to you know, an SUV. It's pretty loud. Yes. The trans feels really good too. Not jerky. Like mine can be a little bit jerky at times. This one feels really smooth it's, so far. Yeah, it's extremely smooth, and honestly, even for being in the dynamic mode, it's mm -hmm. a pretty smooth ride in my opinion. Yeah. See if you can feel a difference between three different modes. Okay, so we're in N now. Now we're in A. It's obviously a lot quieter, especially when accelerating. Oh wow, you don't even hear it. Oh. That's crazy, it's such a huge difference. So if your neighbor's gonna go yell at you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's when you're driving through the neighborhood so you don't uh, disturb the peace. Unless you're a savage. Unless you're, you're a then savage. you don't really care like me. <laughs> okay. And so watch, this thing's got an insane U-turn radius. Oh wow. Yeah. There you go. Like From a dig, you'll destroy me though, 100%. Cool. I like it though. Huh? Hey, the bear, get you some likes if they want to see us race. Get some likes? Yeah. What do you mean? Like the video. Oh, some likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, get get this video to my videos that usually don't get like that many likes. So get this video to 20 likes if you want to see a race. Even though we're probably going to do it anyway. <laughs> 35 mile an hour speed limit, which we are definitely not exceeding right now. <laughs> this is built in Mexico. This this part of the driving video is built in Mexico. Have you heard people say that on YouTube? Like videos are filmed in Mexico. <laughs> Some people don't know. Like I tell them, I'm like, you want to go to Mexico, and they're like, wait, what? So uh, some people don't understand the joke. Say that you're liking it. I love it. I'm absolutely stoked with it. I guess you could say is the gas mileage. Gas mileage. Okay. What have you been getting? <laughs> right now I'm probably at like 13. 13. Just, but that's just because I've been dragging. Yeah, yeah. Drag racing it around a ton. Like uh -huh. my friends all drive it. And you know how it is. Pedal oh yeah. 
Of course. And I don't think I've ever drove it without pedal to the metal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Quite frankly. So now I get to get in the driver's seat and we're gonna see how this thing is. I kind of want to get your reaction driving my car low key. Because <laughs> my car is pretty rowdy. Yeah, you just got to be on your toes because the back end will slide around. Do you have your seat position set? Okay. You don't have your seat position set? You got, no. the, you got the memory seats, you got to use it. I'm a rookie. <laughs> I came from a Jeep. Oh yeah, so I never got to see your Jeep. So how was that Jeep? Did you like it or what? Yeah, I had a JL Rubicon uh -huh. and I liked it. It was, it was nice for a Jeep. It was great gas mileage. Um, Did like you have the Turbo 4? The 2.0, yeah. Okay. That's cool. And so I, I enjoyed it. And so I pushed the on the back, yeah. Boom. Just like a Beamer. Oh, well, speaking of drag strip, I want to do a little launch over here. Can you hold the camera? Sure. Don't put me in it. <laughs> Just like face it like this way. Oh, there's like some there's like some gravel and stuff. I'm gonna go there and then come back. That was a little tiny brake torque. guys well i hope you enjoyed that quick little review of this uh alfa romeo 2020 stelvio quadrifoglio definitely really enjoyed it huge thanks to brendan for letting me drive it and showing me around but yeah definitely love this car so if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a like subscribe let me know what you think in the comments and i will see you in the next one